Welcome to another episode of Punk Rock Above Python. Lots have changed. Drew it back out. And we are getting ready to move. Oh, hey, there you are. Hey. Oh, it's okay. You'll be all right. Ow! Say hi. Hi. Point for frame per second modes. These are mostly things that didn't make the cut to the hero's head on this release. So, we got some new racks. 13 stack. Vision. Man, I love this rack. Coming from Melamine, this was a huge improvement. I still got Melamine racks, so. There's eggs in the incubator. And there are... The youngins being raised. There's also some more. Right, let's turn the light on. There's some more. Mostly males, but it's a mix. Again, because these came out of the melanin rack that I'm not using at the moment because we're moving. Uh, but this is meant for grow or um, adult snakes, but there are some smaller snakes in there. This little backup gecko rack. I just have it turned backwards because the kids get into it. There's no geckos in there. I just use it for storage at the moment. The dubias brand. The old animal plastics rack. That rack served me well. But here's the thing. We're moving. We're getting into a new place. Just worked hard. Making sure we had enough room for everybody. We have a room for every kid. And we have a reptile room. Reptile room. It's like a dream come true. So... Other than that, I had some banana clowns last week. Look at these. There's a banana clown. And there's a banana clown. Got one inchy. But I think a couple of these are, one is a banana inchy clown, and one is just a banana clown. And then we got an inchy clown and a normal clown. Or uh, an inchy banana and a normal banana. So that was the first clutch that got laid here this season. Last season we had four or five clutches. I can't remember. So a buddy of mine needed to free up some rack space. So I ended up picking up this champagne. A baby, and then I decided to get started on my journey in the Tofino project. I do have an albino female right there to breed him to, and they're ready. She should be ready, but she hit the wall. This is a super Mojave. Sorry, the kids need cleaned. I'm gonna clean them as soon as we get in the new house. So, fire hat clown. Not fire, uh, firefly hat clown. This is one of the holdbacks from last year that I kept. 
Very cool snake. Never once struck at me, but every time I open up the container, it acts like it wants to. Super cool snake. I think that is a super pastel yellow belly fire. And then here's the best one. Well, second best one in my opinion from the clutches last year. This is a, let me see. Super pastel fire yellow belly Mojave hat hypo. So, um, hopefully this will throw me some super fast style fire yellow belly Mojave hypos instead of hat hypos one day. Female. It's growing really good. This is one of the leftover spiders from last year. Um, it's actually going to my dad because he helped me find this clutch and he was like, I want one of those. So, I compromised and he can have this one. This snake was having a bad way at the new local pet shop. The new local pet shop's really cool, but nobody could, nobody would buy this uh, pastel pin or um, pin pied. So I picked it up. Pretty cool looking snake. Kind of mean though. This was my runt from last season that I raised up. No, stop And it finally started putting on weight. It's eating really well. It was about 25% of the size of all the other snakes. So we're gonna poke it, boop, get it back in there. We're gonna get that in here. This is the best snake from last season that I held back. GHI Ghost. Could possibly be pastel as well. But this female, oh, I can't wait for this female. I got her dad as well, so we'll be able to um, go with him and make some more um, ghosts. GHI, her dad's a GHI too. Super GHI ghost sound pretty good to me. This is the little Mojave. This is one that needed to come out of my buddy's racks. We'll get her out, she needs water. Yeah, she's super tiny. I had to assist feed her twice, but the third time I offered and she took, so she's on the road to recovery. She, I don't think, ate at all before I got her. Kind of took her because I just wanted to see if I can keep it alive. Yeah, nothing really new. Um... Let's see. A clown, and now a clown, it's just a normal clown, so. Not too worried about that. I can't think of anything else new that I've got. But really, there's 10 snakes over there, 11 snakes here, 13 snakes here, 4 eggs in the incubator, 2 are going bad, so I think I possibly have 2. And then, oh yeah, there's a couple down here, I forgot. Oh, I show them to you, anyway. Yeah. That's the champagne. So we got six in the, uh, five in the baby tub, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, yeah. So yeah, we're growing. Actually, growing. Um... Things are working out. Things are going very well. Not really any hiccups except for, I mean, I've had a few eggs go bad. Um, I did get one deformed baby last year. His bottom jaw didn't form at, or the top jaw didn't form at all. It just formed at the head. It was still breathing. It was still alive, but it didn't make it. Races are starting. Races have started. They started on the 27th so back in the racing mode other than that yeah we're getting ready to move we're in three days from making this video we have four more sleeps here so four days and we'll be in the new house with a new reptile room we'll be able to spread out we're not cramped sitting on top of each other in this house each kid has their own bedroom 
Kids even have their own bathroom, so huge upgrade. Giant backyard for the dogs. It's going to be a good time. I hope uh, I can get more of these videos, man. Start getting a bigger audience. Not feeling so weird making these videos. And start getting my name out there. Punk Rock of Ball Pythons. I mean, it's legitimately happening, so... I'm going to, I'm going to run with it as far as it'll take me. I don't plan on stopping producing. I don't plan on stopping purchasing to make better projects and make nicer looking snakes. I'm going to reinvest everything back into the business for a few years and hopefully retire by 40, 45 years old at least. I want to work for myself. I don't want to work for the man no more. Uh, I mean, I do like my job. I like my job a lot. But I can dream. And some people said in the beginning, it's hard to breed reptiles, hard to breed snakes, don't even waste your money. But in reality, this isn't hard. This isn't hard at all. This is just patience. And what I have over a lot of other people, what I've learned, what I've developed, is patience. You definitely learn that with a five-year-old and a two-year-old, for sure. But, until next time, folks, this has been Punk Rocka. And I'm out.